guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. Welcome back to my channel. I liked this setup so much that we're keeping it and doing another batch of DVDs because, again, I just have too many. So, let's talk about some more anime. First up, something that we're gonna have to do a little bit sideways. This is Jing, King of Bandits, Seventh Heaven. So, about a year ago, I want to say January of last year, I watched Jing, King of Bandits, and I really liked it. It's just a fun little shonen kind of thiever thievery show. And I was chatting with my good friend, Bizarre Individual. Hi, Biz! I'm gonna link his channel down below because he's an awesome manga collector that you guys should be looking at. And we were chatting online for a little bit, and I said, yeah, there's like another part of Jing, King of Bandits, and he actually found a thrift store copy. And I said, oh, I want that. And we were just chilling out online. He went on eBay, found a cheap copy, and was like, they have it, <laughs> you know? I didn't see this back when I found my set. There's more copies out there now. So I also have Jing, King of Bandits, Seventh Heaven. This is like an extra OVA uh, series from the original series. And yeah, 90 minutes, three OVAs. It's Lost in Heaven, Dream in Heaven, Awake in Heaven. So I've been meaning to watch this, you know, cause I kind of miss Jing and I want to go back to that. So getting this was very nice, and I think it was only six or seven dollars. Not a lot, especially for an Aniplex DVD. But again, bare bones, no reverse art, no extra inserts, just DVD and case. So I'm very excited to have this. I need to sit down and watch it. I, I miss Jing. <laughs> and at some point, I'm going to have time, and I'm going to try to get Biz on the channel as well. So Jing can go up there. Next up, another one that I had been meaning to pick this up for a while, just because it looked fun. This is Domaigar. 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 Am I saying that right? I don't know. If I'm not, you guys will correct me. So, this is Domaigar, and of course, feed your appetite for robot fights. This is a hilarious little advertisement series. Uh, so basically, in Kyoto, there is quite a tradition of traditional Japanese sweets there. And they made this little, it looks, I swear to God, like a flash series that are like a series of advertisements. They're like these little two to three minute episodes where Domaigar, the robot um, that's been handed down in this man's family generations, fights monsters that are craving sweets. And so he prepares the sweets in the giant robot and saves the day. It's really short. I don't know if this is even like 40 minutes. There's the ceiling in my camera. <laughs> Hi. Um, but yeah, I watched this all in one day and as silly a premise as it sounds, it really is just this little love letter to classic mecha and as well as like just adoring tradi traditional Japanese sweets. Um, it's not like laugh out loud funny, but it's charming. It, it really won me over, and I, I think this main character is super cute. Because uh, I like that old style, and I like big eyebrows. So yeah, this was fun. I didn't expect it to be so fun. Yeah, 33 minutes is the total for this one. Really short. I'm pretty sure you can find it online super easy if you don't want to own a copy. Um, this was cheap. I don't even remember. Like It was so cheap. It was like an afterthought the way I bought this but it's charming. I almost want to do fan art for it. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, yeah, it's not like an in-depth series, but it's fun. Don't my guard D. Next up, time for some series, because I found some series while I was out thrifting yet again. Some old save sets seem to be coming around. This is Fafner, the complete series, plus Fafner Heaven and Earth. This is the movie, and I have heard very excellent things about Fafner. So much so that I've been meaning to pick up a copy, some version, somehow, some way, along the line for a while now. Um, but yeah, this is just one of the plain save sets, you know. Everyone has their own opinion on the save sets. Um, this is another mech show, and I haven't seen it yet. I wish I could say more about it. And they didn't do much with the art in this one. I'm kind of curious if, like, the Blu-ray set's a little nicer. I need to see if someone has that in a haul that I can link. But... Um, I wanted to show you guys, I like when the save sets used to do this. Um, they would have a reverse cover so you don't have to have this green bar. <laughs> and here is the reverse art. So I think I'm going to leave it in the reverse art just so it looks nice on the shelf. 
I don't particularly want all my save sets on the same shelf, so. Whoops. I think I've heard a few people mention this one. I think Dylan from Dynamic Dylan has mentioned it. I'm pretty sure um, a few other people have mentioned it to me. So I'm sure I'll like this one. I just think this reverse art is very nice. I prefer it. So you can hang out up there. Again, let's stick with the save sets. This is Sands of Destruction, the complete series, based on the Nintendo DS game. I was kind of interested in this when I saw it because I had always wanted the DS game. I ended up never getting it. It's a little bit on the pricey side now. But this is kind of the game story as an anime. And I heard it's better than people had expected. So, um, I think I paid $9 for this one. It's kind of like that weird price range that Half Price Books has. But here are the discs. And of course, it's like a fantasy adventure. I think there's a sand land kind of area in it. And let's see. Sega and Funimation joining forces to bring you a thrilling new anime based on the epic RPG of the same name. Yeah. That's great. So I guess she has a grudge to grind against her world. Who doesn't? Girl, I hear you. Anyway... That's Sands of Destruction. Kind of a very random find. I, I like physically going and looking for animation <laughs> because when I'm at home and floating around on eBay or looking at like sales people have on Twitter or whatever, somehow physically finding it and reading it and having it in my hands, I'm more likely to make a decision about buying it, uh, especially when it's cheap. Like That's what a lot of these DVD kind of hauls result in. It's like, what can I find that's kind of forgotten, but still probably very good. So, that's Sands of Destruction. I'm very glad to have that, and maybe someday I'll find the DS game. Who knows? More thrifting. These are dollar bin finds. <laughs> I just have two for you today. Of course, this is The Triplets of Belleville. This is a French animated film. Um, Sylvain Chaumet. I, I think that's his name. Uh, this is from 2003 or 2, I want to say. I can't remember. I watched this way back when. I watched this back when it first came over here, I guess. And this movie, this is for people that love every and any form of animation. Because this is French animation, and there's some really amazing French animation, honestly. Um, they don't really get enough credit because, again... I'm an anime channel, and I really should look into more diverse animation. But um, it's about a boy that becomes a cyclist. And here he is as a boy, and that's his form once he's a cyclist. And the triplets help his grandmother through this kind of shady thing that happens with the race. It's very beautiful and bizarre at the same time, and I can't help but like it. It's also got some just wild sequences. Very cool if you're an animation fan. I'm kind of very taken with <laughs> this because I had all of these and I still have my Bebop copy and my Tokyo Godfather's copy. Um, I used to have this Metropolis copy. Now, I have, of course, I have the Steelbook. I used to have this um, set of Cyborg 009. Now I have the Discotech Complete Series. This was my old copy of Memories and now I have the Discotech Memories Blu-ray release. So seeing this was like very nostalgic for me. Um, and then they also have some other movies on here, and there's a bit of the animation style in the movie itself. Um, when will I watch this? I don't know, at some point. I've, I've actually rewatched it a couple years ago, so I'm not in a rush, but yeah, it, just finding it was so random, and for a dollar, I'm gonna pick it up. Next up, more story time. This is Little Nemo Adventure in, Adventures in Slumberland. Excuse me. So this is not the discotheque release. I'm sure the discotheque release is nicer than this, what is this, Our Time release? The Family Entertainment Company <laughs> release? Um, here's the thing. Everyone has one movie that as a child they were terrified of. And this one really, really messed me up because of the like ink splash monsters in it. Those things scared the crap out of me when I was really little. I don't know why. Um, there's just some really bizarre scenes in this. It's also weirdly beautiful. So yeah, seeing it for a dollar, I was like, oh my God, that messed me up. I should own it. 
So, uh, Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland. Kind of the other reason I picked it up for, like, my my thrift store did this weird thing where they upped prices to $1.29, but I still say a dollar. Um, the other reason I picked this up is because the Discotech version recently went out of print. So either I could look for something out of print or just pick this up right now. At some point, I will rewatch this. I don't know when. <laughs> but isn't it funny when you go back to old childhood things and they're not nearly as creepy or scary as what you remember from being a kid? So this was a unique one. This had like a half um, animation, half American production. So it's not even that long. It's only a hundred minutes. For some reason as a kid, I thought this movie took forever to get through. Anyway, Little Nemo, just very weird when nostalgia just kind of comes in out of nowhere, just out and about. All right, we're gonna pause and talk about something I've been watching. I finished this up earlier this year. This is Tegami Bachi Letter B. This is of course part one, season one, um, season one, part two, and Tegami Bachi Letter B Reverse, season two, part one and part two. I told you guys when I first was looking into collecting this series. I ended up getting it for very good prices. Now, of course, there's out of print prices, but I said that I'd always been interested in this one because I always saw it advertised in the back of like Shonen Jump magazines and Viz and stuff. And I just never got around to actually reading it or watching it. So now that I finally watched the series, it's great. It's fantastic. It's so much sweeter than you would expect it to be. It has this great little plot line. I think I kind of prefer more of season one's episodic nature where he's kind of interacting with different people in the world. But when things pick up in season two, I mean, I, I couldn't put it down. I was watching like three, four, five episodes a night um, when I finally got back into it. So I'm very, very happy that I have these. I super enjoyed the characters in this. It has a satisfying ending in the way that it doesn't end the way you'd want it to, but it ends in a logical way. So I'm really happy with that. It feels like it could even have a third season. It, it could. It doesn't need it, but it could. Um, because there's still some mysteries that linger in this world, which kind of just makes it more of a believable world, I guess. If I were ever going to do a video of like, here's a shelf and I'm going to fill it with my favorite DVDs, these would definitely go on there. So just wanted to, you know, get back to you guys and let you know that I do watch what I pick up and I was very, very taken with uh, Letter B. Let me know in the comments if you guys have seen it. One final pickup for this video. This is Someday's Dreamers. These were just, I, again, picked them up out of the same place where I seem to pick up all my Pioneer Genion releases. I feel like I'm picking up the scraps of someone's collection that's been turned in. That's what it feels like, because I keep finding them even on the same shelf in the store. But anyway, uh, these were like three or four dollars a piece. Worth it to pick up for me. Uh, the best way to describe this, uh, Yume Kikuchi, yeah, is a 17 year old girl living in the countryside of Japan. The only thing unusual about this ordinary girl is her ability to make miracles. This summer, Yume has reached an age required to work in Tokyo as an apprentice mage. So there you go. Apprentice mage kind of gets involved with this group of people that are also, I think, apprentice mages. And I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful release. I'm a big fan of these clear DVD cases. I don't know why, I just think they look nice. Here is the disc art. Here is the beautiful little postcard that you get with it. See? I love that these are still in here. And you get a little book mini poster. And that is a mini poster for the reverse art. So you can actually reverse your cover however you prefer. I like the colorway that seems to be going on here, so I'm going to leave it like this. But that is set one. And I think I've seen people kind of mention this in the past about how it's kind of like a very soft and sweet sort of quieter series. Maybe it gets really emotional later in. I don't know. I'm looking very much forward to starting it. Here, of course, is the next postcard art. 
and the next inner art, which again for this set is the reverse art. So I just love when series give you this kind of option. <laughs> I just think it's very pretty. And again, like I said previously, I can't help but like these Genion releases. They just are very, very good. As far as quality I'm referring to. And least, well not least, whoa, <laughs> I meant to say last but not least, the final set. Here's that art. Here is a Genion card. Oh, no, no art on that card, strange. And final mini poster. The sun is really coming out now, making everything kind of a glare. And final reverse image. So before my camera dies, I just want to say hi to all my subscribers. You guys rock. Thank you so much for watching these. I really, really enjoy chatting with you guys and being able to share, you know, my journey of collecting here. And let me know in the comments, have you seen any of these? Do you like any of these? Um, what should I look for next? Anyway, that is it for this one. You guys rock. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.